And you will hear from our civil society brothers and not. So at this juncture, it is my singular honor 
to welcome with a thunderous round of applause to for President of Sano to give us his three minutes inspirational talk to the House. Come on, President. Greetings, Nigerian workers! Understand that you are not, you can't just president, president Ayuba, our most distinguished comments that are here. We have heard it from the president of ASU. The story is long, but we shall try to trim it. We must try to tell you why we have to come this long and this far. Aside from the issues that he has raised, you need to understand that the university is a community. It has in it the teaching, the non-teaching, and our greatest stakeholders, the students. There cannot be any university to function effectively without our students. And our students require the best. And what they need is that they should be taught, they should be guided to undertake researches, and the university also extends community services. If you look at these three core mandates, these are the things that the university staff do. Now, beyond the issue of welfare of staff, you also need to understand that if you go to any university community, there are people who undertake businesses. You can just imagine the number of taxi drivers that have become poorer. You can imagine the number of tetras who run our cafeterias, how they have become poorer, including even the arrow boys that get what to eat within the university community. Now, this is 13 years between 2009 and now. We've had agreements, the four university-based unions. We've signed agreements. And in that agreement, there is a portion where it says that after every three years, we must renegotiate. We must come back to the table. We must look at issues as they are. Now, 13 years down the ladder, it is one story to another. For us, we are not even as lucky as our big brother Asu. All the previous committees that are, have had to discuss with these committees, Nasu, Sanu, and Nat never had the opportunity of dialoguing, of bargaining, of discussing and renegotiating with these committees because we've been sidelined. We've been treated like second-hand clothing. We have been sent to the backgrounds. This is not the time to take it. This is democracy. Democracy is about the people. Democracy is about the power of the people. And therefore, we must make sure that government stand on its feet. These agreements must be respected. Universities must take a universal look. We must have the best of our brains. We must have our teachers, lecturers, members of staff, academic, non-academic, junior, senior, security, Everybody is important, and therefore, government must rise up to the occasion. Government must respect its signed agreements, and that this idea of divide and rule must not continue. The issue of uh, IPs is no longer news to you. IPs has made everybody in the university community poorer. VCs are paid uh, salaries of drivers, registrars are paid salaries of cleaners, and so on and so forth. What you get today, you don't know what you get tomorrow. And that is why we are challenged. We have come up with our solutions. The U3PS is there. The UTAS is there. We are ready to work together. We will give them the best. We will not continue to rely on foreigners. This is Nigeria. This is our common patrimony. We must come together. We must fight. We must emancipate our people. The universities must come back to work. Our students well, should go back to classroom. Our hostels should look decent. In our hostels today, 
you see 12, 20 students given official accommodation space. This can no longer continue. Gentlemen, the security has become something else. Our people, lecturers, teachers, everybody. No one is serving the university community. This one is going to the community. Big people at will. And we have to make do with payment of ransoms. This cannot continue. Distinguished comrades, I call on you. Please support the university. NLC, we say kudos to you. Ayuba, you have done the best. The greatest Nigerian workers. From Sanu. Thank you, Comrade President. Uh, we will take the voice of a mother and then we will proceed to the National Assembly. The voice of Comrade Emma Obi. Center, center. Uh, they want her at the center. Yes. Remind her you command your mom to come to the center. Sorry, I'll come to the center. Thank you, sir. The President of the Nigerian Labour Congress. Fellow compatriots, distinguished comrades, this is a big day in Nigeria. And I want to congratulate the Nigerian Labour Congress, the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, our global president for this move. Congratulations to the President of ASU, Your Excellency. Each and every one of you have come here for a reason. If you have your children at home for four months, adults for five months, adults for 51 months, for 55 months, then you know what we are talking about. Investment in education is the greatest investment in any nation. If you are investing in, in education, you are not doing anybody a favor. You are investing in the human capital for your economy. You are preparing the future of the land. What is happening now is the failure of a generation. It's not we that have failed, but the leaders have failed. It's a failure of a generation. And so I want to call on the president of Nigeria, who is always shocked. Seeming as if he's not in this land. Yes. Who is always shocked when there is insecurity? Yes. Who is shocked when children are at home? Yes. I want to tell you something. Most of the universities in the, in the world are being maintained by the money of you and I yes. because of the looted and the funds that they are taken from my treasury. Why would you take the ladder off from those who prepared you? The children of the poor. Most of those who are in government today were products of the, of, the, of the public universities. We have the greatest universities, the greatest facilities in the world. And now we are letting it go before I left school. And I can tell you that I know what this is because I was once a student union president. I know what it is to be 101. I know what it is to be 000. They remove subsidies, they call sub, so called subsidies. The president of the Nigerian Labour Congress is here. You say you are removing subsidies. What are you talking about as a subsidy? I was in the Nigerian Labour Congress. I started my work life from the Nigerian Labour Congress. There is nothing like subsidy. What kind of government is it that has four refineries, gigantic refineries, and you are not refining? You go to Niger and you refine and you bring it back. And you tell the people of Nigeria that you are indeed paying subsidies. They are paying it to themselves. I want to remind everybody. I want to remind the politicians that there is only one way out of this, of this country. There is only one way out of this life. That nobody is living this world alive. They are looting the economy and you are building streets, not even houses. And you are building it if when you die, you simply go under six feet. The politicians are hurting the world. They are looting the economy and, de and, de and denying so many Nigerians of the things that they need to have. Solidarity, our children are at home. Our children are at home. I know what it is to be a woman as a mother. And also so many girls within this month are at home. Many girls have gone into it, 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 it have become very vulnerable. All the men and female, before they get back now, women are pregnant and so on and so on. You know, so many girls. We have insecurity. 
Jacob is running. That is going on. Nobody is saying something. If you cannot govern, resign. Expressing my commendation to the President and the Nigerian Labour Congress. This is the first time in the history of Nigeria where the Nigerian Labour Congress has openly solidarized with the academic staff union of universities and the Nigerian students. This solidarity is unprecedented in the history of Nigeria. We are here to save the future of our country. We are here to save the future of public education. The President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is a beneficiary and a product of public education. The Vice President is a beneficiary and product of public education. The Governors of the 36 states were beneficiaries and products of public education. The senators, the members, House of Reps, and state assemblies, and local government chairmen, and people holding position of authority in Nigeria today were products and beneficiaries of public education. Why do you want to destroy what has made you what you are today? It is shameful that a nation with a budget of 16 trillion naira cannot allocate a substantial sum to reactivate, to fund our university system. Where we are today, we are here because our educational system has failed. Why should our leaders, who have been products of these services, now turn back against Nigerians. This protest should be the beginning of a mass action to force the political establishment, the bourgeoisie, to do what is necessary, and that is to fund public education as much as they are funding the education of their children and grandchildren. We have seen how public funds have been spent in billions during weddings and birthday ceremonies. Yes. It is not true for anybody to say there is no enough money for our university. If the son and the daughter of the poor cannot go to school, the son and the daughter of the rich cannot live in peace. I and all men of conscience in Nigeria should continue to identify with the NLC, with ASU, with the non-academic staff union, with all affiliate staff union to ensure that pressure is not just built but is sustained until the demands of our university system is made. Thank you very much. These three votes are for Senator Sammy. Because he wasn't large enough, you get insecticide instead of uh, perfume. Uh, that, that's the potable code from Senator Sani. Those of you that need insecticide are out there. We need perfume here. Comrades, now we will hear from the non-academic staff. 
in the universities. Let's find out whether their own children are schooling abroad. <laughs> Come on, President of NASA. Greatest Nigerian workers. Unbeatable Nigerian workers. Greatest Nigerian students. Greatest of the greatest of the greatest of the greatest. Great. I want to start by thanking the Nigerian Labour Congress for this wonderful work and arrangement. I want to place on record and before the press that the Nigerian Labour Congress is not here to solidarize with us. This is a strike wholly owned by the Nigerian Labour Congress because all the athletes in the universities are members of Nigerian Labour Congress. And the Nigerian Labour Congress has done something unique now for us in the university system to learn that there is no division. We are here in one line. Asu, Nasu, Sanu, Nat. We are together. The government has tried in the past to do what we call divide and rule. They will say, Asu, you come and take 100 million. Nasu, you take 1 million and we start fighting ourselves. That must stop. And before we go to government any time, because of this that the Nigerian Labour Congress has done, we ought to meet on our various campuses so that we come as one. Uh, our slogan now is a people united can never be defeated. So we will make sure that in the university system we will fight as one. Now if you talk about funding, it affects all of us. I have two children in the university that are now at home. The strike is equally affecting me. So once we say yes, let us go on strike, we'll meet together and we'll decide together. Now we're talking of 2009 agreement. You can all believe that this is agreement that we all accepted together, that every three, three years it will be renewed. And look at the number of years we have today, yet the government is still reluctant to do the review. And that is why the NLC is here with us. The U3PS that we have done is now a challenge. If you say OSAS is not good enough, how about U3PS? If you say U3PS is not good enough, how about if they match them and they become one? So we are going to work as one. Comrade President, uh, my GS, NLT, we thank you for this move. And we are continue, going to work with you. We uh, listen to your dictate and we work until we do what we call, there's a popular saying, that for a bad future not to happen, we have to cripple fast. We must work together and win them out like undesirable elements and send them to no man's land. Thank you. Greatest Nigeria workers, ever conscious Nigeria students, comrades, we will move now because the Parliamentary Staff Union President is here and he knows the route to National Assembly because most of us were rigged out, so we don't know the road to that place. Come on, Pasan President, let me see you. Ah, because he's a very tall person, so you can't miss him. So, comrades, we will we'll continue our march. There will still be opportunity for other key leaders to speak. I see Comrade Soore here, former MPC. Is he against Labour, sir? So, can, can you say something about this? Sir? I said, can you say something about it? Is he against labor? Is Omar Elisha against labor? This is the oh. president. He is as tall as they can be. So when you see him in front, you will know that that is the northern star that we are following. But let everybody be behind the banner. Let everybody be behind the banner. Because they are renovating the National Assembly gate. So there are some Atian ways will follow. So follow the leadership and then you will not fall into a ditch. Go back. 
leadership our leadership are in front comrades clear the front for the van please 
rubber, no one chunny. The political one rubber be that. The way thing they kill Nigeria, oh. And see your chaka chaka. Everything's gonna stand up. Come on, this one, what's up? Put us on the move, what's up? Come on, this one, what's up? Come on, this one,
and even things in the government and not the president. What is has The country is in a mess. You should be able to get them at school. There should have been tried your words, you just see what is happening in here, not to say no. Right now, the people are insisting, they insist on going into the National Assembly. There was a protocol that blocked them, served as a barrier for them to enter before, but now the people are angry. The people are upset, they are very, very upset right now, they want to break it. What's happening, sir? Yes, Thank you. It's becoming a grand of national resistance. It's gradually becoming a grand of national resistance. It's going beyond the initial plan. The people are also right. The people are crying. The can't go back to the like All people up here, please come down. All people up there, please come down. All comrades seated up here, come down. Only the comrades in front, I want you to hold your hands together for me. A people united can never be defeated. A people united can never be defeated. Hold your hands together. Hold your hands together. Please be on a straight line. If your line is forward than this motto, that means you are above my line. Be on a straight line before this vehicle. Before this vehicle, hold your hands together. Our comrades on the other side, fall back, please, fall back. Please, our comrades on the other side, seated, can we come down? A people united cannot be defeated. Our leaders are here, and very soon they will be speaking truth to the power.
that had lectures yesterday, raise your hand. If you know you didn't have any lecture for the past three months, raise your hand. Along the flags. Commerce who must stick both to the air, the land, and the sea. They must hear our voice today. Comrades, we have the president, ever conscious president. The president, if the people will call him. Osinawata Wesley. <laughs> Yoruba will call him Omoba. <laughs> and Hansa will call him Taimi Saraki. Then Sarauta. He's called him Lee Hansa. Because they didn't allow me to complete my course. As we on strike, I couldn't complete my course. So I will go back to BUK to complete my BSc in house. I know this so. That is it. The president of NAS is here. If you know him, you will know him as the young man who taught the education minister what his work should be. So because in this time that people are wasting their time on TikTok, and showing excellent discussions. This young man has done his research even when there were no open libraries. The president of NAMS is one we are proud to have at this point in time in our national history. Because the young people have been battered enough. They have told us they were not interested in their future, which we knew was a lie. Because that future is being destroyed by ancient men that move in the night. Witches and wizards that move at night. They were told that we should burn our candles at night reading book. Then they burn lanterns going for village meetings. At this juncture, the president of National Association of Nigerian Students, for the first time in over a decade, will address a combined gathering of parents and students. Comrade Nance President, it's your issue. Greatest Nigerian student! Promises upon promises. What we need is results. We want 
our university to the world. Thank you and God bless you. Greatest Nigerian students, yeah. articulate Nigerian workers, yeah. have you ever seen a calmer man's president than this young man? Have you ever had a more precise speech than this one? Because they say a word. And wise men listen and get what? They get wiser. And foolish people hear it and they get more stupid. So what we have come with today are words of wisdom. And the young man has set the pace. We are moving to a group in the university community that handles technology. When they tell you IP, sometimes when they say IP, and they didn't say that we're pissing the bus for a bus stop. <laughs> Does IP mean pissing at the bus stop? It means pissing on our salaries. IP means pissing on our salaries, right? But there are people that handle technology in the universities. And they are called the National Association of Academic Technologists. So if you are doing Uru Uru with World Bank IPs, these are some of the people that will help us prepare. What did they call you ring for your language? Sorry. You huh? don't forget. Uh, lecturers will lecture us here today. But this president is the president of the National of Association of Academic Technologies in Nigeria. And they are part of those that they are trying to strangulate with hunger. That they have kept their salaries, they are not paying them. Even though we try to pump him this morning with some fuel, so that he will be able to reach here. So, Comrade President, the floor is yours. led by our global president, Comrade Ayubawaba, for this noble act to draw the attention of government to what has been happening for the past five months. I've spent 20, more than 20 of my years in the education sector, and we have never had it this way. It has gotten to a point where the laboratories, the studios, the workshops are being turned to classrooms. Because there are no equipment to teach the students the art of practicals. You will agree with me that this track action is legitimate. Our strike action is not illegal and workers have a right to protest to draw the attention of government to their actions and inactions. We have had bailouts to the aviation sector. We have had bailouts to other sectors. Why the negligence on the education sector? Because no country can develop more than the educational level of the citizens. Comrades, for the past four months, five months, the education, the universities have been shut down. All the university-based unions are on strike. Till date, for five months, government has not found it or deemed it necessary to make an offer to our unions. What a shame.
about our public, primary and secondary schools. Will you agree? No. Will you agree? No. That is why we are here. To say that government must listen to us. Government must do the needful. We are affected. We are infected. We are involved. We are critical stakeholders. Our children are at home. And we know what it means. So please, we want to ask, we want to demand that government must do the needful. Government must act proactively and immediately to bring back our children, our students back to school. To bring our children back to school. Thank you very much. I want to thank all of you for turning out. Thank you very much. Please, two solidarity votes are for the common president. Bosa! Bosa! Congress, the way Yabosa is going, uh, you are going as if they are injecting things on you. <laughs> Greatest Nigerian workers! Yeah, 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 Minister, no for, for, for Grando. Matcha, matcha. No matcha. Yeah, yeah, Minister, no for, for Grando. Matcha, matcha. Go talk, not so because now family problem in this thing. We have with us the president of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, another set of youths where they pick from window to open down a problem. So, as in dumping from window, they not great open door. Make him tell us how they feel for that window side, comrade president. My name is uh, Ezmark Sorenamdi. I'm standing before the national president, Ambassador Sukubo Sorebe Sukubo, who is on our appointment as absent. He's in uh, Morocco. He went for First Africa Youth Dialogue. Um, the National Council of Nigeria, we are tired of this government. We are fed up. I stand out with the building nation, building, uh, building youth, building nation. Now what our leaders is building is terrorism, cultists, bandits, government, kidnappers. When I was a kid, I was told that that's why you, we are the leader of tomorrow. I keep asking myself, when is tomorrow coming? Today is the tomorrow. We are taking our country this time around. We force them, we force our leader to do the right thing. We will reset this nation. The youth of this country are tired. No job, no food. We are tired. 